y'all. Welcome to Foodie Friday. I don't know what episode this is. Look in the caption. I forget. All right. On to the next item. What I got. Okay, I've done like all these crunchy things. So I'm going to do something sweet. Um, um, I think these are Japanese. Um, I they... think... Yeah, I think they're little crunchy things. No, they feel like gummies, though. Maybe they're gummies that look like crunchy things? I don't know. But it has mango and strawberry and bananas on the package. So I, I'm, I'm hoping that it actually tastes like those things. Let's uh, see. Ooh. It does smell like those things. Oh, it is a gummy that looks crunchy. <laughs> Are you sour or not a lot? Um, these are okay. These are, um, I don't know if I'm getting from these. Um, like I like them. It would be like a good snack that I like have in my classroom. I just like want to snack on something. Um, I don't know. Um, that is something I would go back and buy again. But maybe for a party. I really taste the banana in this one. Um, yeah. Like, I don't... Maybe, like, for finger food or something, I would buy these. Um, seven boat noodles. They were decent. They were decent. On to the next item. Okay, because I want to say the other thing for last. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> um, I don't know how this is going to taste. This is a Korean snack. It says rose topoki. And I love topoki um, in general. Like, it's one of my favorite um, Korean snacks. Um, as you can see on the back. Um, I don't know. Like, how does it go? How does it go? Um, let's see. What am I getting? You just smell like soap. <laughs> Hope y'all can see these. They look like little topoki rolls. Um, I'm assuming that they're going to be crunchy. Uh, I know. My orthodontist going to see this video like then I tell you stop eating crunchy shit. <laughs> um, okay, these aren't bad. Mm. It's not giving me any kind of topoki spice though. Um, since the last video decided they wanted to cut off. I said I give these six boat noodles, only because they're not giving me any topoki, but their their spice is a little good and it's a good snack. So, yeah, like I would have these at like a party or something, um, for people to like take and taste. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it on a regular basis. It wouldn't be like my snack. Yeah. Okay, last item for this week, and uh, an oldie but a goodie, but. Um, they're called Twix Top. This sounds like a weird sexual position, but anyway, I'm hoping that it's yummy. <laughs> okay, I realize I should have opened this the other way. Um, anyway, I'm gonna take the whole thing out. Okay, so basically, it's like an inside out Twix, as you can see. Um, instead of the chocolate covering the cookie, the cookie's covering the chocolate. Um, like, I guess that works. <laughs> Y'all know me. I got to sniff everything. It's Twix. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Give, giving us some caramely action. Okay. Okay. Um. Mmm. Mmm. 
this is like people like Twix were like, what can we do to give a spin on Twix? I remember a few years ago they did the left Twix, right Twix thing. I was like, what else can we do to be relevant? And we're like, I am. Take the biscuit and cover it. Instead of the chocolate covering the biscuit. They're like, wow, genius, oh my God. I'm pretty sure that's how this came about. <laughs> like, it's not bad. But it's not Twix. If that makes sense. Like, the biscuit to chocolate ratio is off now. <laughs> and I do not approve. But it's yummy. So, whatever. Um, God's, um, it was yummy. And because it's Twix, um, I will give it six spoke noodles. Mm. Yes, six spoke noodles. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's it for this week's Foodie Friday, guys. Um, join me next time for some other Foodie Eats. From where? I don't know. Because y'all know me. I just show up at a store and be like, ooh, that look cute. That look yummy. I hope that smell nice. And then I just buy it and then y'all see it. So, yeah. See y'all next time. Bye.